And now, more from Amanda Knox, the American college student who sat for an interview for the first time last night. She has spent nearly six years fighting the accusation that she killed her roommate in Italy. She was a tabloid obsession there, portrayed as a presumptuous, promiscuous American. And all day, you have been writing us. It's a kind of Warjak test of reactions. Did you kill Meredith Kircher? No. Were you there that night? No. I wasn't there. So many of you wrote us, a lot of you outraged at the lack of concrete evidence against her. The fact that in the bedroom of the murder, that bloody shoe print, that handprint, the DNA found on and inside Meredith Kircher's body, all belonged to a man with a known criminal record, Rudy Gaudet. Not one speck of DNA in that room from Amanda Knox. Police say she must have cleaned it. That's impossible. Um, it's impossible to see DNA, much less identify whose DNA it is. But you also wrote us you're still puzzled by her strange behavior after the murder. She says she was just off balance and immature. At the police station, she says she was stretching, but a female officer testified she did cartwheels. I never did a cartwheel. Um, I did do the splits. Again, you can see that this does not look like grief does not read as grief. I think everyone's reaction to something horrible is different. As for that video we all watched that seemed to show her kissing her boyfriend, Raffaele, dozens and dozens of times, we studied that tape. There were three quick kisses, but the rest of the time she was staring into space. My friend had been murdered, and it could just have easily been me. And through all the trials and prison, her family was there. Your dream for her? To come out and be happy and um, know that she's safe and know that she's loved. Well, I think adding on to that is also having the Kircher family clearly understand that Amanda and Raphael had nothing to do with the loss of their daughter and having them find closure for themselves. And this as a distant memory? No, it will it never go away. I traveled to Perugia to the house where they all once lived. Yes. Hello. Now inhabited by Bangladeshi immigrants who showed me the tiny room of the murder, saying they barely heard of this case. I also talked to some of the thousands of college students there right now who said it's just a distant memory, that name, Amanda Knox. So to the 250,000 students who head abroad, what's your advice? Study abroad. Study abroad in Italy. Just know your rights, be in touch with your family, be careful. And Amanda Knox says she hopes in years to come that she will be finished with this case, have a family of her own, and she said she will tell her children to look closely at anything they put on their websites as if it could be used to destroy them. And as we said, Amanda Knox's book, Waiting to be Heard, is on the bookshelves now.